just like we did uh, the spline for the this part we can do it for the side also and to do that we need some points obviously so let's go for point definition I'll select this one I think that's a good spot let's stop over here okay I can go for another point definition Let's go for this curve. Okay, another point on this curve. Okay, now we have all the points. We can define a spline. So let's go for spline definition four, five, six okay now we'll repeat the same thing to the other side as well let's go for point definition this one okay point definition this curve okay Point definition this curve okay we do go for a spline definition select point second point and third point all right we have the guide curve we can do the same thing for the back portion as well let's go for point definition this one okay point definition on this curve okay point definition on this curve okay go for a spline between these three points one two three All right now we have if you see your spline it looks a bit odd All right and you can obviously refine your points to change the positioning of your spline so let's refine this point okay let's refine this point okay update that looks fine let's refine this point okay let's define this point okay once we have refined we can update our sketch that looks uh, fine to me all right now from here we can go for a multi section so let's go for a multi section select our sketch 1 2 and 3 now mind here we have to uh, adjust the closing points so that they all are aligned and to do that we can right click on this closing replace with this point and right click on this closing replace this point right click replace this point for the guide curves I can say this one this one this one and this one if you preview it you have a show right over here now we need to we can do one more thing 
as we can create the soul from here and to do that let's switch our workbench to part design i can select sketch one go for padding reverse direction let's go for 12 mm preview okay i can also give fillet so let's go for a fillet on this one let's say 10 mm preview okay right now we'll select the multi-section surface and let's go for a thick 2.5 let's say 0 0.5 preview okay we can hide the multi-section now and we have a basic shape of our shoe all right what else we can do is we can uh, give some holes for the lace and to do that let's create a plane first so let's go for a plane from xy so let's select xy let's go for 77 okay select the new plane go for a sketch and here let's start with the center rectangle like this go for dimension 5 50 right I'll drag it okay then we can let's say get distance from here and for the holes i can select a circle draw a circle define its distance from here 10 mm okay we can do few more circles so diameter should be 3 distance should be 10 ok I chose the wrong distance I can delete this one I will assign one more distance between the center so let's say 10 I can go for another circle three mm diameter ten mm from here and ten mm between both the centers. Let's do the last one. Three mm dia from the center of the other circle. This should be ten from the center to this face. Ten. After that, what we can do is select the four circles and simply mirror it. To the other side we can exit the sketch go for a pocket let's increase the distance so that the pocket is created just like that
we have a simple shoe design. Right, you can also uh, modify this part and modify the base as well. Now this one is just for just for a beginner. So if you want to make it more advanced, you can have your own curves, and then when you do the splines, you you will get the accurate shoe. Alright, so I hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts regarding the design, feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you are watching this. See you in the next tutorial. Peace out.